extra fees you end up paying when you book a flight. A lot of airlines charge you extra to pick your seat or to check a bag. Some lawmakers want that practice to end, or at least they want airlines to be more transparent about how much it'll all cost you. Scripps News Global Affairs correspondent Maya Rodriguez is live in Washington, D.C., where a Senate panel faced off with airline executives today. Maya, what did they say? Well, Lori Jane, senators grilled those airline executives during that hearing today over those so-called airline junk fees. Those are fees, of course, that the airlines are now defending, and they allow you to either pick your seat or check your luggage. Senators did not hold back during a hearing on Capitol Hill Wednesday, expressing deep frustration over rising airline fees. Flying on your airlines is horrible. It's terrible experience. We're all captives on your airplanes at a certain point. The Senate's permanent subcommittee on investigations heard from witnesses that included executives from American, Frontier, Delta, Spirit, and United Airlines. In a report from the committee's Democratic majority, released just last week, it found that five airlines generated $12.4 billion in seat fee revenue between 2018 and 2023. Senator Richard Blumenthal chairs the subcommittee and says the extra fees punish passengers. Our investigation shows they have no connection to actual costs that the airlines are bearing. But it doesn't appear these additional fees will be grounded anytime soon. Earlier this year, a federal appeals court blocked a Department of Transportation rule that would have required airlines to be more transparent about service fees when people book flights. For now, the best way to avoid these fees may be to shop around, says consumer advocate Christopher Elliott. The airlines are making a lot of money from these surprise gotcha fees that they're charging you. Make sure that you know what you're getting with your uh, airline ticket and if you are not getting what you want, go to a different airline. So while each airline has different policies when it comes to these additional fees, the executives today were really defending the concept of unbundling, that is paying for each of these services separately. They say it gives customers the best options when it comes to fitting their particular travel needs, Lori Jane. And Maya, besides shopping around, how else can travelers avoid these fees? Yeah, so consumer experts tell us that it's really just best to resist the temptation, if you will. So when you book a ticket, you might see a pop-up that comes up and it says, you know, choose your seat for an additional fee. They say just ignore it, that no matter what, you are going to have a seat. So if you're not particularly picky about where you are sitting on a plane, it's best to just avoid that fee altogether, Lori Jane. All right, Scripps News Global Affairs correspondent Maya Rodriguez. Thank you.